Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to be filming for you is a video on my favourite products from 2016 that I'm going to be carrying on to 2017 because I think they're just that good. They're that good that I'm probably going to repurchase them. So I know that if I'm going to go and repurchase them, then you need to know about them because if you go and get them, I know for a fact you're going to love them. So we're going to start off first of all with skincare. Um, I don't really talk too much about skincare and I have been saying maybe for about a year now that I'm going to do a favourite skincare, a skincare favourites video, but I've never got down to it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this serum here that I have loved so much. This is my second bottle that I used and you'll see I'm nearly finished. Um, I'm nearly finished my second bottle and it's by this brand called Pestle and Mortar who are an independent Irish company. Um, this serum is called Pure Hyaluronic Serum and as it says in the name it's basically just a serum of pure hyaluronic acid. Now for any of you that don't know what hyaluronic acid is, it's a molecule that contains um, a molecule in it that can hold up to a thousand times its own weight in water. So when I put this on I feel my skin plumping up, I can feel my skin holding the water and my skin is a lot smoother so my makeup does sit a lot nicer throughout the day. I use this morning and night, literally worship it. Anything with hyaluronic acid in it, I love it. I love it. So the second thing I'm going to talk about follows on from that. It also contains hyaluronic acid. Um, I know this is Kylie Jenner's um, well, one of her favourite skincare products, she does kind of talk about it a lot a couple of years ago, and that's the Nip and Fab um, Dragon's Blood Serum. So I think I used about three bottles of this last year, and I've got another one sitting in the drawer actually. It's amazing. Like when I put this on I can feel my skin tingling, I feel my skin plumping up, and my makeup really does sit a lot smoother. Like my skin... I don't know, just if, if I don't use it, I can feel and I can see that my makeup doesn't sit as nice. So it really does, it really, really does work. Amazing, especially for like I get lines above my eyebrows there and I, I kind of see the foundation starts to crease. When I use this, it plumps up the skin enough that it doesn't... I also find this leaves, with well, the dragon's blood that's in it, does leave like a, like a film, like a coating over the surface of your skin to kind of smooth the skin out, which is nice. So I suppose in a way it almost acts as a primer. I mean it's not a primer, of course it's a serum, but it almost does prime the skin to make the skin ready for your makeup. Third product from skincare um, that I'm going to talk about is a mask. Um, it is oh, a beautiful mask. Um, when I was in Vegas, when, sorry when I was in New York actually, um, I burnt my forehead from sitting out in the sun too long. Um, and I actually burnt it so much that it, it looked like a wig. Like, along my hairline was so burnt, it was like, it looked like I could have peeled all the skin off. That's how bad it was flaking. It was horrific. So anyway, I was getting married the following week, and I was like, what am I going to do here? So I went straight into Sephora, um, and we found this, which is the Origins um, Overnight Mask, and it's called Drink Up Intensive. So I was putting this on morning and night, lathering it on, genuinely, if you look at my wedding photos on my Instagram, you can't even see that I was burnt, honestly. So this is now my second tube that we've purchased, and I know I'll be getting it again next year. I just put it on, go to bed, leave it on overnight, and I wake up in the morning feeling like I've been to a spa, like my skin just feels so smooth and it just feels like it's drunk so much water and it's been, I feel like I've been sleeping for like 10 hours. Because most nights I maybe get 5-6 hours sleep, if I'm lucky. But the main thing in this is amazing, of course, like the past two products, it contains hyaluronic acid. But it contains avocado. And, oh, do you know, I just find that the avocado oil, like, just nourishes my skin so much. Honestly, if your skin's dry, if it's dehydrated, if it's thirsty, if it's red and it's irritated, pop some of this on. Honestly, it'll work wonders for your skin. I love it. The final thing, the final mask that I'm going to talk about, well the, the final thing I'm going to talk about for skincare is a mask. And it's something that's a wee bit unusual for me to talk about. But anyway, it's, um, it's this brand here called Lucura, and it's a caviar mask. Now in the UK, um, there was an article went out about a year and a half ago maybe, 
um, and it was all about how Lidl, which is like a food supermarket, shopping market, um, it's like a German shop, and they released a skincare, and then it was apparently copying the La Prairie skincare range, the caviar range that was launched. Now, the La Prairie caviar mask, I think retails £199, which is unbelievable for the mask. And then Lidl released this range, and they were basically copying it for £5.99. So, I read all about it, and I think there was only like three ingredients different between the two. So I was like, alright, oh, okay. A good friend of mine works in Lidl. So I was like, listen, pick me some up. I'll give it a try. Um, so, the, when I was reading all about this mask, the things that really popped out to me that made me think, okay, actually, I'm really excited to try this. It wasn't a caviar. Yeah, caviar is great for your skin, of course. It nourishes and it replenishes it, helps with lines, wrinkles, all that sort of thing. But it's got salicylic acid and it's got glycolic acid in it, which are two things I love. I love the acids for the texture of my skin. Um, I find since I was using the glycolic and the salicylic acid, I don't get the blemishes anymore. My pores are minimised. My skin's a lot smoother. So the fact that it's got both of them in it as well as caviar, honestly, it's unbelievable for the price. So if you're maybe one of my followers watching from the UK, get yourself into a little store and get yourself a jar of this. Now it does say you leave it on for three minutes. As someone who uses a lot of the acids, I use a lot of the acids in my skin. So my skin really has built up a tolerance for it. So I just go to sleep in this mask. I leave it on overnight. But Alan, my husband, I got him to try this mask and he put it on for the three minutes and he could feel it burning. He could feel it actually burning off the top layer of his skin which is what it's supposed to do. But my skin is so used to it now that I can go to bed with it on. Okay, so if you do use it, follow the instructions very carefully. Do not go to bed with it overnight unless you are an experienced, tolerant user of glycolic acid. So let's go on to complexion. Okay, I've got quite a few things to talk about here for complexion that I have been loving in 2016 and I know for a fact I'm going to be taking over in 2017. So let's talk foundation first because to be honest there isn't any really primers, there's no primers that have been really shouting out to me. I've been using a few different primers, I've been going off primer a wee bit which I know is a sin, I know it is but I've been going off it so I really am still trying to find that holy grail primer um, at the moment. But from foundation I've definitely found them, well for me anyway. The first one is Drugstore and I'm sure you've all seen it. You've all seen it all over loads of YouTubers' channels, and that is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Now, um, we picked this up when we were out in the States, and oh my god, it's amazing. Now, I've got it on just now, so you can see my skin has got a nice glow to it. This, no word of a lie, is one of the only dewy finish foundations I've found that does stay on your skin for 24 hours. Like, I wore it in Vegas when it was 49 degrees. I'm talking it was like, it was hot. It was hot when we were there. I had this on all day, didn't go patchy. So for a dewy finish foundation, not to go patchy in that heat when I'm sweating is unbelievable. It also has a really good coverage and I do find that there's not many like dewy reading foundations out there that are a fuller coverage and I love me a full coverage. So that definitely, if you can get your hands on it, if you're in the UK, if you can get your hands on it somewhere online, get it. If you're any of my other worldwide followers, go and give this a try. I know it's a drugstore, I know it's really cheap, but it's genuinely an amazing foundation. The next one, which I've actually just finished, I finished it yesterday and I'm absolutely gutted. I'm going to have to go and order some more online, um, is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. So, completely finished, you'll see there's like nothing in there. Um, but I used this in my last video and I've actually had a lot of people messaging me um, through my Facebook and my Instagram asking me about it. Because obviously you like the finish that they gave me in the last video. Um, and you've, you've been asking me what shade you would be. Now please, like, like I don't know all the MAC shades, I don't know all the SLO or Double Wear shades. Like, I, I'm not experienced that way to know every single shade. I mean, come on guys, there's a lot of foundations. 
So I really can't help you. If you message me saying I use Mac NC20, what would have been Kat Von D? I don't have a clue. I don't work for Kat Von D. All I know is I love the foundation. Okay, so maybe try researching it online um, and see if someone else has done a comparison between all the shades. But this foundation, super full coverage. I wouldn't even say it's full coverage. I would say it's super full coverage. But the only thing about it is that it does feel, you can feel it in your skin. Now, I'm someone that doesn't mind being able to feel foundation in your skin, but this, you can really feel it in your skin. On the pro side of that, it doesn't budge. When that's on, it's going nowhere, genuinely. Um, like, it makes me look so flawless, like, ultimate flawless. It's exceedingly matte finish. Great foundation. Um, the final foundation I'm going to talk about is a foundation I've actually been using for a number of years. Um, and that is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. Now, a lot of people think of Makeup Forever, they think of the Ultra HD Foundation, they think of the HD Stick, and they forget about this poor foundation that's actually, in my opinion, the best foundation that Makeup Forever do. Without a doubt. It's full coverage, it's matte, it's waterproof, it doesn't budge when it's on, but you can't feel it in your skin. Like, at all. Because... I don't know why, you just can't feel it, it's really really lightweight, but it gives you a really really good coverage. So this is my go-to kind of day-to-day -day foundation. Um, yeah, I just love it, give it a try, unbelievable. Other things for complexion are concealer. I've got two concealers um, that I'll be carrying over. One is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation, and I personally use shade L5 Neutral. It's a really, really, really light coverage. The only thing I'm not too keen is it can settle in the lines a wee bit underneath the eyes, just a wee bit. But if you set it with powder, it's not too bad. It does give you a really nice kind of look dewy finish. It gives you a nice lift, but it gives you a great cover. Um, I also like the applicator. If I pull that out, see it's got a nice wee pointed nib, so it's great for getting right up into the inner corner of the eye and around the, the crevices in the nostril. The other one that I use, and I'm actually nearly finished it because I do use it every day, is the Makeup Forever Waterproof Concealer. Now this is full cover. I mean, you'll see, I mean, the name of it is full cover, but it is super full coverage. Um, but because it's waterproof, it does dry. It tends to dry a lot quicker. So when I'm using this, I need to do one eye, blend it out, then do the other eye and blend it out because if I do both eyes and then blend them out well I'm blending that one, that one will dry does that make sense? so I do need to do one eye at a time but the good thing is because it sets like when it sets, it truly sets it then doesn't set in the creases or anything do you know what I mean? because it doesn't move when it's on it kind of moves with your skin so two great concealers give them a try final thing for complexion like, I've still been using loads of different contour products, loads of different bronzers, blushes, all that sort of thing. Nothing amazing that really, really super caught my eye in 2016. Um, but three things that did catch my eye in 2016 that I will be carrying over. Highlighters. So, MAC launched, I think it was four new Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighters. And we instantly got all four of them. But there's two of them. They're so nice and those shades are show gold and soft frost now can you see if I turn that the soft frost here if I swatch it it's got this really nice kind of pink pink tone to it whereas your show gold here it's got slightly more of a purpley tone to it I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera. But anyway, gorgeous highlighters. The final one that I'm absolutely loving is the new Makeup Forever highlighter. And it's the number two in their Pro Light Fusion. And for me, this is basically just... Oh, you can see I'm nearly hitting pan there. Um, this is basically just like Whisper of Guilt. Very, very similar. You know we all love some MAC Whisper of Guilt. We know that it was limited edition. I know it's very hard to come by. This is basically it. So similar. Gorgeous. I've actually got it on today. If you can see. 
nice glow to the skin. So that's it for complexion. I'll still be continuing to search for the perfect contour product and the perfect primer 2017. So far, no luck. So on to the eyes. I've got quite a few eye products that I would say are staples, they're like staples in my in my makeup drawers that I go to all the time. Um, the first one would be the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Midnight Cowboy Glitter. Now I've popped a wee bit onto the inner corner of my eyes, you'll see it just pops. These are amazing. Do just be careful, don't use it in your waterline, don't be getting it in your eye because it bloody burns I tell you. But these, oh, look the glitter in them is so sparkly, like if you're looking to take your any look, like any look whatsoever, whether you've done like a gorgeous smoky eye and you just want to take it to the next level, pop a wee bit of these just in the inner corner or just kind of like along the crease and it literally takes, it makes you look like your skills are a lot more developed than, than what they may be. Really great products, they come in so many different colours. Um, the Midnight Cowboy, which is gold. Oh, I love it. The next thing is also another Urban Decay product, and that is the white, the razor sharp white liquid liner. Now anyone that follows me on Instagram will see when I got this, I think I went a wee bit crazy with it, and I created quite a lot of different looks with it, but I'm loving it, honestly, like, I just think using the white liner is like a wee bit different, do you know what I mean? It, it kind of takes your looks to, to a wee bit more editorial or, or, or a wee bit more kind of like arty looking. The tip on this is so fine, so it really is razor sharp like it says in the name and you can get the precision really, really easily with it. The only thing I suppose is you do kind of need to build it up a wee bit if you've got like a darker eye on. Can I need to go over it a couple of times, let it dry, go over it, let it dry to get that real kind of like white. Do you know what I mean? Um, the final thing I'll speak about from Urban Decay for eyes um, is a shadow I've been using for a couple of years. It's still the ultimate, the ultimate save. We'll see if I'm just in a hurry. I've literally got like, like 20 minutes to do a full face and I'm like, oh god, what am I going to do? I just grab this. I grab it and I always get compliments on what I'm wearing. And that is the Urban Decay Riff Eyeshadow. You'll see it's just the perfect, it's almost like a bronzer, but it's more pigmented. Oh, what would I do without this shadow? I don't know what I would do without this shadow. Genuinely, like, it's just a perfect crease colour, perfect transition colour. It's like the perfect eyeshadow. It suits all eye colours. If you don't have this Riff Eyeshadow, honestly, you will never regret getting it. I tell people every day, Go and try some riff, honestly, because you can use it with blues, greens, in, in fact, any colour of eyeshadow. If you put riff in the crease, you can then use, use that colour over the top. Amazing. The other two things, I suppose, are shadows as well, that I know I can't be living without. Um, one of them is Kat Von D, and it is the colour Dose. I think it's the colour Dose. It's a Metal Crush eyeshadow. But it's D-O-C-E. Dos? Doce? Dose? Anyway, D-O-C-E. You can see that. I actually don't know how to, how to pronounce it. I feel a bit stupid here. But it is the most beautiful just crumbled in my head. Oh god what am I going to do with that? I'll put it behind me. But anyway, it is the most beautiful, beautiful copper colour. Oh my god look at that. See when I put this on I get so many compliments because people tell me how green my eyes look. Even though I've got hazel eyes People always tell me your eyes are so green just because this is like, I mean look at it, <gasps> oh my goodness, yeah, love it. Cab on D, Metal Crush eyeshadow. The final eyeshadow, and I know you'll all be expecting it, everybody will know this is coming, 
It is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which I have just got Kat Von D all over the top of it. And when I open this, there goes the brush. And you'll see this has been heavily used. So it's basically 14 shades, all natural and berry tones. I love this palette. Yes, yes. If this gets done, we'll be getting another one straight away, without a doubt. Like, it suits everybody. The colours are just like sheer perfection. Like, every colour. Every colour. I actually can't see a colour in it. I don't think it's perfect. Yep. The only thing I would change though, the packaging. You literally look at it and it gets dirty. Like, ever since Urban Decay Naked One palette, who uses velvet? Who uses velvet in a palette? Never mind baby pink velvet. It was like made to get dirty. Do you know what I mean? You put it in a makeup drawer, of course it's going to get dirty. It's baby pink velvet. <sighs> anyway, final product for eyes that will definitely be taking over to next year is something I use literally six days a week. It's unbelievable. And that is the Inglot 77 Eyeliner Gel. This gel liner, super black, waterproof, really creamy, really easy, lip, really easy to apply. And when it's on, it doesn't budge. I feel like I say that about a lot of things and I think it's like a curtain, like a like an, an ongoing thing with me. If someone tells me that something doesn't budge when it's on, I'm like, sold. You know how that way I put my makeup on in the morning? I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to be thinking, oh God, I'm going to have to top that up. I don't top my makeup up. I'll do it in the morning and that'll be me till I get home. If it doesn't last all day, I won't repurchase something. Do you know I mean? It's a waste of my money. I'm not spending the £30 on something to have to top it up. So you don't need to touch this. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't, even if your eyes are really running, it doesn't budge at all. So yeah, Inglot 77 Black Liner. It also comes in loads of really nice colours. I've got the, the copper one. It's also really nice. I've got like a deep purple one. It's really nice as well. But the black is like a staple. The black is like a must have. I know loads of people talk about it. So yeah, I'll be taking that into next year. So I do wear this lipstick like five days out of seven. Um, so you'll see it's like basically done. I'm going to have to get a new one really soon. And I'm really hoping that I can find it in stock because I love it. It's the colour I've got on just now. You'll see it's like, it's not peach, but it's not cool toned. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It's like the perfect, it's like the perfect nude lipstick. It's matte, it's long wearing, but it doesn't feel drying in the lips. Um, and the shade is shade M100. So M for Mark 100. It's like it was made for me. Gorgeous, the packaging's nice. I literally love, I love this lipstick. And the only other thing that I found that I've really, really been loving, like, like when I put it on, I'm just like, mmm, so good. And that is the um, Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Gloss. And this is shade Papa Don't Preach. I love it. Now, I do think these came out 2017, so I feel like I'm cheating, but I got it really early, so I have been using it for a good while now. Now, these aren't lip, they're not really lip glosses, they're actually, it says they're creamy peach oil lip gloss, and I would say emphasis on the oil, like they do when they're on, they feel really soft and hydrating, there's no stickiness to them, the smell, <sighs> Smells like those um, those Haribo peach sweets. Do you know what I mean? That kind of like sickly sweet, fake peach smell. Oh, honestly, when this is on, in fact, I think I'll put a wee bit on just now. Mmm, just feels so nice on my lips. And in fact, I do wear quite a lot of them as a combo. Um, just with that being a matte lipstick. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't want to wear a matte lipstick every day and start to dry my lips out. So having that wee bit of oil over the top does help. I love it. Really, I love it now. I don't know if these are limited edition. That's the only thing. My knowledge there is a wee bit limited. So, get your, go and get your hands on one ASAP actually. Honestly. I know there was other shades, I know there was the palette. But this, oh, amazing. 
So yeah, that is it. That's everything. Um, I've tried to keep it really quick. I know I've given you a lot of products, but hopefully I've not rambled on too long for you. Um, over the past couple of months, I've had so many people join um, join me as, as, as followers on Instagram. So I do want to say a massive thank you and welcome. And honestly, I love, I love you all so much. Like, the comments and stuff I've been getting from y'all have been so sweet and like it just puts a smile on my face a lot of days like to read the really nice and positive things that y'all have to say to me so thank you I really like I, lo I love you honestly so thank you so much and I'll see you next time where I'll be doing a nice um, sultry eye look for you so see you then bye